Welcome back to Odyssey News. I am Mike Odyssey, and today we have three stories. That's not three, that's two. Three stories, the top three stories in the world of Nintendo that I want to bring to you so you don't go scattering all over the internet looking for them. And uh, we have stories on Ninja Turtles. Yes, Ninja Turtles is back in the headlines. Then we also have stories on a brand new Ultimate controller that should be the savior to all controllers on Nintendo Switch. Let's see about that. And we'll end with the Nintendo Direct. And my top picks for the upcoming Nintendo Direct. And my thoughts on the next Nintendo Direct. Direct along with a possible mention of the forbidden Switch Pro. All right, so let's start out with Kirby and the Dream Buffet. Uh, this is something a little extra I want to throw in the beginning. Uh, looks like Kirby and the Dream Buffet has some new icons on the Nintendo Online thingy. So if you love Kirby, and the Dream Buffet, and you love these little adorable icons that I'm showing you right now on the screen, then guess what? You might want to change your little profile picture to one of these adorable little Kirby ones right here. We have uh, about eight of them, and they are now available on the eShop. Let's move on to the next story. All right, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Kawabanga Collection. Finally, it is out. And let's go ahead over the news here. The time has come for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fans to experience the Konami's massive HD collection of classics, turtle games of all time in one package. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Kawabanga Collection has launched and has received rave reviews for the work and the lavish collection that includes high quality instruction manuals and a whole bunch of other really cool stuff so if you like teenage mutant ninja turtles guess what it is out right now i think it's about 39 to 49 bucks so it's actually cheaper than the you know higher end nintendo switch is the mid tier level when it comes to pricing and yeah I've, I've seen the reviews of this game and the collection itself it takes you all the back to turtles one even in the game Boy era all the games from the actual arcade are there included as well along with a whole bunch of other manuals and art and stuff that has to do with the turtles so this is actually the ultimate cow amount of collection you want to get your hands on if you are a real fan of teenage mutant ninja turtles let's move on to the next news okay so it looks like 8 bit no announced a new switch ultimate controller for 70 bucks coming in october 8-bit doe has received praise for their simple but extremely customizable controllers and the company is now taking a stab at the more expensive pro controller market the latest product in the 8-bit doe ultimate controller which is available in a wireless or wired option with the bluetooth version 2.0 or G, whatever that means, version includes a special charging dock. The Ipid Ultimate Controller is compatible with the Nintendo Switch, Windows, Android, and iOS. The Verge says that the Ultimate Controller seems poised. I never understand that word, poised. As more capable alternative to the official Pro Controller that is worthy successor of the Apedo Pro 2. And uh, let's move on to the next piece of news. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the last piece of news for today, we have the Nintendo Direct is uh, basically eminent for September. And uh, I agree with this because Nintendo has not given us anything for 2023. And they still need to drop some games for the end of 2022 holiday season, right? So we are in the Rex season, Nintendo Direct season. It's happening. It's coming in the, in the next couple of weeks. Um, and then we are expecting Nintendo to deliver um, some idea of what 2023 looks like besides the Breath of the Wild delayed game. So what games could we be expecting to be announced in this coming Nintendo Direct in the month of September? First thing, I feel Nintendo Direct will be ha will ha happen after Platoon 3 launch, which is September 9th. And then that, fo that following week, maybe even before that. And uh, there are certain games that have already been rumored to come, which is, for example, Zelda games or Zelda ports for this year, for this holiday season. We have another Metro game that has also been rumored to, to arrive here uh, this holiday season. I, I hope we do get both Metroid and also Zelda ports because it'll be awesome. And then of course for next year, there are certain franchises that are that are that need new games. For example, we need a Mario Odyssey 2. If we are staying with the current gen console, we need a Mario Odyssey 2 or we need the next Mario platform, the great platform since we don't have one since 2017. It's 2022. Mario Odyssey 2 or the next great Mario game. Don't count Bowser's Fury because that just that was just like an add-on to 
to maybe to, 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 to the other game. But it was still a great game. Uh, then we also need a new Donkey Kong game. Donkey Kong has not seen the light of day for a while now. He's been stuck in the jungle, hoping to get an adventure of, of his own, and we need one of those. We also need... What else do we need? Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. We know we have Breath of the Wild 2 for uh, next year in uh, the spring. We don't know if the spring is going to be March, April, or May. One of these three months for Breath of the Wild 2. That is awesome. We hopefully get some news about that. Uh, we also, uh, you know, just just overall, what's going to happen in 2023? I mean, I feel like it doesn't matter what Nintendo announces in this Direct. I feel like as, as long as they give us a clear picture of the first half or the first quarter of 2023, and we have things to look forward to. Because right now, everything has been announced everything has a release date and the foreseeable future is completely blank now let me move on to this 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 train of thought that i have here nintendo has never gone this long without announcing games for the future meaning games for 2023 so whenever we have been in this situation uh in this time september direct there has always been at least four to five to six games announced for the following year and this year we have none don't count breath of the wild because that was a delay so we have none nada so what would be one reason that these games are not announced they're there but not announced this could be the next gen switch or switch pro or switch to or whatever nintendo decides to call it an upgraded console for nintendo is the number one reason that nintendo is holding back on giving us any release date possible and let me tell you why this makes sense because these games need to run on this console not only run on your switch don't, don't worry you're not losing anything on your switch it'll they will run on your switch but it, it needs to also run on these these consoles so the only reason why nintendo will not announce a game or even a date for 2023 this late in the year is that they want to make sure that these games are all running top-notch on that next-gen console in order to for them to be announced and to be confirmed now let me know what you guys think that's all i'm going to say about the next gen switch or the switch pro um and then i want to know what you guys think down below in the comments and uh yeah that's it for the new thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next awesome adventure of mike odyssey peace